just want to take a little video showing some of the stuff I'm doing to get my garden underway. Uh, these are the egg cartons uh, with all my seedlings down at the end. Is the hot peppers. They haven't started up yet. But right there I've got uh, cherry tomatoes, yellow icicle, and Roman striped. Over in this, I'm just starting to get uh, a couple purple beauty bell peppers. Here I've got uh, Kiwano, African horned cucumber or the jelly melon. Uh, golden midget watermelons up in there. I got some strawberry spinach pink eye purple whole peas lettuce collards uh, Sweet lemon and lime basil Down here. I've got some lemon balm sprouting and got a lavender there One or two more coming up in here. I got some more uh, Kiwanos in those paper towel tubes a couple scarlet runner beans right there over here is something uh, I'm making to put a bunch of plants on. Uh, just a couple risers. This is not connected. Uh, this The wood was a little screwy, so I have to have something weighing it down to kind of torque it into the correct shape. Uh, got to be able to put a bunch of stuff on there. And I got some trellis in the back that's 4x4. Four four. Used uh, bunny fencing for that. I hope that works out pretty good. Another table with a trellis along the back. Uh, these things were extra pieces from a bunk bed set connected them with the extra bed frame that we had from another bed uh, kind of put it all together got that going on back here is my potatoes and buckets i used two seed potatoes each in the middle ones and three in the outer ones you can kind of see i got stuff growing in those uh, that's making me pretty happy um, over there Got a planting bed. We're gonna put some tomatoes and peppers and stuff in that. Uh, over here is where that green trellis or green risers and trellis are gonna go. Kind of take the place of this. This is where my container garden started. Got some parsley there. Mint that's totally come back from being killed off due to freezes. Got some uh, cilantro and marigolds growing in there. A bunch of cilantro growing on the inside of my uh, garlics over here. This I got some onion bulbs going. And then we planted a bunch more along the outer rim. That's my original garlic plants doing really well. There I got a cilantro in the middle of uh, some more uh, onion bulbs. Had some uh, spinach going on around there. Uh, I was getting eaten up by aphids, so we ate it. And uh, I got onions in there. I'm going to get a tree in there. Some scarlet runner beans that have come up, starting to grow. We got some marigolds going in those over there. Uh, like I said, this is where that green thing's gonna go with the trellis. I'm gonna add some trellis onto the back of that one and have it on that side. So get a lot of stuff growing over here. The rest of the stuff I got starting and going. Uh, used an old pair of jeans to fill a pocket in here to hold the soil. Just hung that. Got a couple uh, scarlet runner beans right there. Gonna kind of train those up to either direction. I got some. I originally had thought this was clover, and it turns out it's a uh, pink wood sorrel, Oxalis debilis, I guess. I don't really know how to say it. Um, very tart flowers, kind of taste good though. I like them. Some more marigolds, bunching onions and carrots that are still uh, fighting through trying to grow. Here's my uh, rosemary transplanted into a bigger container, so hopefully it'll grow. Uh, seeded some dill in that, seeded some spearmint in that, hopefully it goes. Some ginger here, uh, looks like it's starting, I hope these are supposed to end up turning into the stalks. Got a little bit of fungus growing on the top of that, uh, so I'm letting it dry out in the sun. It's been real humid and rainy. Uh, I was trying to get some pineapple sage going in there, it hasn't come up. Got a few sunflowers over there, some more carrots, uh, marigolds in there. Onions, garlic, marigolds, and my favorite right here is uh, this is a growing lemon balm plant right here. Uh, this stuff's wonderful. It's a mint plant that smells le like lemon, and you can use it for teas. And it's got a lot of herbal uh, applications as well. Oh, I love that. And the last thing I guess I got is over here a couple of my remaining aloe plants um, and mostly they all got killed off due to some freezes this winter but I've got new growth and this one and this one so these have been saved and yeah, looks like they're gonna make a comeback 
and then just kind of a volunteer a little bit of uh, the pink wood sorrel right there uh, so hold on to that and there's my baby girl hi Zoe <laughs> all right well that's what we got going on now in a couple of weeks it'll all look different